A couple of weeks ago, I built a post hole digging contraption which I used last week on my property to sink some fence posts. My project today was to repair a broken pull cord on the auger so I can use it again next month. Rather than showing you a boring video of me changing four screws, I decided to finally complete my auger tower contraption build video and put it out there, so here it is. The frame is nothing more than a simple box made from 2x4s. I calculated the space needed for my auger motor, the 6 inch auger bit, and the associated mounting hardware. Then I made it slightly larger in case I wanted to put in up to a 16 inch auger bit for future tree planting. Then I took the auger head and attached a couple of 2x4s to the handles using some 1 inch electrical clamps and proceeded to build a structure around it that would eventually slide up and down on rails in the tower. The rails were simple, two 6 foot long 2x4s screwed in parallel along the inside of the tower vertically along the two opposite walls. After positioning the auger head between the slides, it was easy to see that all I would need is a center 2x4 just kissing the slides and two additional 2x4s along the sides of the rail. As you will see, any operational torque is transferred to the rail through the outside 2x4s. If you look at it from the top, where the three 2x4s are on the x-axis, left to right, the center 2x4s prevents more than half an inch of play along the x and the two outer, the upper and lower 2x4s, prevent play along the Y as well as rotational torque. To put it simply, I've created a crude H shape that will slide up and down along a couple of 2x4 rails. Now the whole purpose for the tower was to take the majority of work out of digging post holes while not breaking the bank. Anyone who's ever used an auger to dig a hole appreciates the work saved. Digging a hole by hand is backbreaking work. However, using an auger is still considerable work. When an auger digs a 36 inch deep hole for you, you still have to lift 60 pounds of auger and dirt up, and not just once, up and down constantly. If you're dealing with sandy soil and roots, there's the added bonus that you still have to dig by hand the sand that's fallen back in the hole. The final piece of the puzzle was to place an eye bolt on the auger assembly and a 12 volt winch on the tower to control the up and down movement. I had most of these pieces lying around, but if you don't, you're looking at $30 in lumber and hardware, $60 for the winch, $99 for the auger, and you can get a 12 volt battery for about 10 bucks. Did it work like a dream? Stay tuned for another video showing my successes and a couple of failure points while digging 25 6-inch holes over 3 feet deep. Thank you for watching.